Number 58. Determine the phase changes that carbon dioxide undergoes as pressure is increased at a constant temperature of, and then we have different temperatures. We have negative 50 degrees Celsius, we have 50 degrees Celsius, and then also if the temperature is held at negative 40 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius, and then see, see the phase diagram in this figure, which is figure 10.34. Okay, so let's get started. All we just have to do is determine the different phase changes that carbon dioxide will undergo, depending on the temperature that was given here. Now, this graph is pretty easy to understand. There's four different states. The dark purple represents all the times that carbon dioxide is going to be a solid. The brown area is all the times that carbon dioxide will exist as a gas. This, like, lavenderous co color is all the times that um, carbon dioxide will exist purely as a liquid. And then we have SCF, which is supercritical fluid. Now, supercritical fluid is one state in itself in which the substance, in this case carbon dioxide, will have intermediate properties, a mixture of liquid and gas properties. But it's still classified as one phase. So, let's get started. The first temperature that we have to find out is what's going on at negative 50 degrees Celsius. And this question always said that we're going to increase in pressure. So the pressure in kilopascals is the y-axis. So we're always going to be looking from bottom to top because we want to figure out what's going on as pressure is increasing. So this is the way that pressure is increasing. Let's find negative 50. Temperature is the x-axis, degrees Celsius, degrees Celsius, so everything's good here. Here's negative 50. So I'm just going to draw a line straight up and watch the phase changes. Now remember, we're going from bottom to top. So let's see. In the beginning, carbon dioxide is in the brown phase. So that means that it's starting off as a gas. But now, do you see how I'm crossing colors? Once I go over this black line here, I'm crossing colors into a liquid. So that's one phase change. At negative 50 degrees, carbon dioxide can go from a gas into a liquid. Now, do we really need to know the temperature? We could kind of estimate that it's going to be roughly whatever temperature that is. And maybe it's closer to 1,000, maybe, I don't know, maybe roughly around 800 kPa. So maybe we'll say that. So this at around 800 kilopascals. And let's see if there's any other phase change. So I'm just going to keep going up with my negative 50. So now carbon dioxide is a liquid. And look at that. We cross over another line because now we're entering in solid territory. So also from a liquid, it can go into a solid. It can freeze. And the temperature would probably be roughly around here, which if we extend the line, eh, 10,000, 20,000, 30, 40, 50, maybe, maybe 40,000? Because we have to go between 10 and 100,000. So maybe roughly around 40,000. These numbers don't have to be necessarily correct. The phase change it's, is what is the most important part here. So there we go. Now, just make sure you keep going up and up and up, and it's just going to keep being a solid. So at negative 50 degrees Celsius, there are two phase changes. Gas to liquid, and maybe I'll just put, let's see, at, because we have, beautiful, and then I just want more room. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, the first one is done. Now let's go to the next um, temperature, 50 degrees Celsius. Okay. So we got to find out where 50 degrees Celsius is on the x-axis. And I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, and there we go, 50. Draw that line straight up. 
Okay. And with technology, thank goodness, I can correct it. And now let's just go from bottom to top. We're starting off in gas mode. So I'm going to start off with gas. And I seem that I can cross over into this territory of super critical fluid. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> So that is the phase change here, from a gas into, I guess I could just say, super critical fluid. Can we say roughly at a temperature, of course we can, or not a temperature, at a pressure, it's going to happen right here, and if we, oh boy, and if we pull back that number, let's see, somewhere around here, very, very, very close to 10,000, maybe we'll say... 9,000, roughly 9,000 kilopascals. So we'll say that, or sorry about, yeah, 9,000. 9,000 kPa. Keep going up and up and up, and it's just going to keep being supercritical fluid. So B is done. Next one. Let's just bring this a little bit up. Because now we have negative 40. Let's find out where negative 40 degrees Celsius is. And let's see. It's got to be in between 0 and 50. And the middleman here is negative 25. So I know that negative 40 is probably going to be closer to the 50 end. So maybe somewhere here. Once again, we don't have to know exactly. Just estimate approximately. Let's draw that line up and see what's going on there. Okay, so as we travel up and up and up, we're starting with the gas. So I'm just going to say gas. And maybe I'll make this so that it's not really... So we're starting off with the gas. And then we cross over that line. We're now entering liquid territory. So gas to a liquid, we can condense. And if we want to know that the... the the uh, pressure, just kindly bring that value back, and it seems like it's right at 1,000. So at roughly 1,000 kPa. Okay, now keep going up. We're a liquid, 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 all the same color, but then we cross over, there's that point again, into solid territory. So I can start at a liquid, and I can go to a solid. I can freeze. And if we just get that temperature, just pull it back ever so slightly, fix it up a little bit, somewhere around here, and then just estimate. Uh, maybe, let's see, I have a 100,000 and a million, so maybe this is 300,000, somewhere around there. So we can estimate 300,000. I mean, that's a lot of pressure. That's incredible. So negative 40 is done. Last one is 20, which I guess I'll put down here. Let's find 20 degrees Celsius. It's got to be in between 0 and 50. The middleman is 25. And TC just means the critical temperature. This, if we pull this down... That's the critical temperature in which you will turn into your supercritical fluid. But we don't have to worry about that because 20 degrees is right below 25. So maybe roughly around here. Bring that up. And now let's just see what's going on. Starting off with the gas. Up and up and up and up. So we're starting off with the gas. Seems like we're always going to start off with the gas, because that's what's happening at standard temperature and pressure. Crossing over, here's the line. Boop, boop, boop. Crossing over to a liquid. And the point of interest is right here. It seems like it's on the same line as the other one, which was roughly around 9,000. So we're just going to say that a gas can turn into a liquid. It can condense at roughly around 9,000 kilopascals. 
And just to check, keep going up and up and up. It does seem that at the tail end, we do have one last conversion. Do you see that? There's like a line here, and then it goes into a solid. So I'm going to mark that down. Liquid can go into a solid, and I'm kind of running out of room here. Maybe I can bring this up a little bit. There we go. Bring this a little bit down. And we can say at, if we pull that back, I mean, we're roughly very, very close to the top. I'm going to assume that it's going to be roughly a million uh, kilopascals. So at 1 million KPA. And I think we're done, right? We did all the four temps. Beautiful. But that's how you read a phase change diagram or a phase diagram. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video and for coming here for all your educational needs. We also have uh, physics and math videos on the channel at the moment, so go check it out. All right, love to help you guys. We want to help you succeed in your studies, whether you're in high school, college, uh, middle school. We'll be there for you guys, all right? I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard. You got this. Bye-bye.